I've always dated older. Yeah. Like, never like crazy older, like 10 years older than me. But really? Maybe like a couple of years. I mean, I'm not going to date no eight year old man. Right. But, you know. <laughs> okay, so what are your views on people that like date older? Like, I mean, hey. Do you I'm think it's a money nobody. thing or. I'm not going to judge nobody. Like, I mean, if you like 80 year old men. Good for you, no you know, worries. that's your like, type, but me, sis, I can't really. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> but. I don't know. You know, everyone has a preference. I'm judging. You know, we all just energies anyways. Right. So, I think I'm going to stick to my little couple of years. Yeah. I'm not even really dating right now, so. You're not? I mean, if it. <laughs> don't give me that look. <laughs> all right. Don't give me that look. Like, she lives in my, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, right now, if it becomes available, then you know, okay. I'll give this opportunity. But mm -hmm. I'm just, that's a right now. You do not believe me. <laughs> and she's giving me this look like, okay, mm -hmm. I hear you. Okay, why the camera's wrong? We're going to talk afterwards. We're going to talk afterwards. But, and you said this on your thing, so. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk afterwards and see. All right. Okay. On this list, like, who? Ain't no list. Talking too. Nah, nobody. Nobody sliding in the DMs. I don't check them. See, okay. <laughs> you're not checking them. Nah, I ain't Somebody interested. might be in there. Not interested at all. Might be in there. That's so the worst place probably to get me in the DMs. Right. Like, I feel like internet. You never know who that person might be. I'm an yeah. in-person type of with yeah. connections. Yeah. Okay, so next. Um, Summer Walker, she canceled her tour because of um, her anxiety. So with you being an artist, like what are your what are your thoughts on that? Like being an artist, you know, when you drop music or drop an album, it's kind of automatic for you to usually do a tour. So with her, like, cause her anxiety has been like very strong lately, and she just canceled her whole tour. So being an artist with the label behind you and everything, how does that affect you, or would you ever do anything like that? Um, I don't know if I would cancel a tour, but you know, if but I don't know what level of anxiety I would be at during that time, anyways. But I could feel her on that, like anxiety thing because sometimes I struggle with anxiety as well and it's a lot when people don't understand because some people view mental health as like a joke or they don't think it's real but it's actually real so I can feel her on that but um I think that you just have to control it and have great people around you and yeah but I struggle with that sometimes do you feel like as an artist um putting out music being on social media your face is everywhere, and you're considered a public figure. Do you feel like having fans is automatic that, okay, you should have a tour, you should do meet and greets, you should interact with your fans? Because fans automatically, I know some fans automatically feel like, okay, because I'm a fan, because I listen to your music, because you're so inspirational to me, like, you should meet with us. You should interact with us. Mm -hmm. But I know that's something that she personally struggles with. So as an artist, do you feel like being in the public life, that's something that you sign up for automatically? Not necessarily. Like, there's artists who are very introverted and would rather just put out music and just, like, disappear. And people who truly love their music and vibe with them shouldn't get mad at that. Like, as artists, we're people, too. Like, we're humans. I don't think we owe you anything. We don't owe, like our fans that like you have to meet us but me personally I would love to meet my fans but like if there's a day where I don't want to meet anybody that's just me and people who love me should love me for that so fans of Summer Walker I think they should just get that she has anxiety and understand her for that and still love her music and all that so yeah and I've seen from like other celebrities um as far as pictures it's like some days okay I have no problem taking pictures but some people are kind of rude with theirs and it's like okay i have my kids with me or i have um in my personal space i mean it's just like looking at it from the other side like okay you're like there's fans and supporters oh i want a picture this is my favorite artist but they look at the artist 
from the outside, like we don't really know these artists. Like we're looking at them, we like their music, oh, we want a picture with them, but they could be really like, they could probably hate pictures and hate all that. So it's like, we kind of got to respect artists sometimes and ask maybe, but if they're rude, I mean, maybe should take it personal. <laughs> but. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into um, our fab girl game. So our viewers know, let me explain to you the rules. We're playing the game this or that. So okay. here at Fab Girl Fridays, we're very strict on our rules. <laughs> it's okay. either you picking this or that. It's no, I like both. It's no, um, it's get both. either this <laughs> or that. One or the other. Well, where's the contract at? Cause I <laughs> This is this <laughs> okay. You just picking one or the other. It's not that. Okay, we'll it's see. It's pretty good. We'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna start off. Um, we talked about this last week as well. So Jacquees recently dropped the album King of R and B, and so basically saying he's the king of R and B for this generation. Jack, no, not Jacquees. Um, YK Osiris said that he's the king of R and B for this generation. So, out of Jacquees or YK Osiris, who would you say is the king of R&B for this generation? Honestly, like, if it was my choice, like, I don't, like, it's not up to me, I feel like. Like, I feel like it's the people thing. I, I feel like everybody's a king and queen, honestly. Um, I don't have, like, a view of a certain king in this, of this generation. I definitely... I don't know. It's the whole thing is kind of other. Okay, so who is your favorite artist out of the two? Neither. You don't listen to either? I don't know none of their music. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'll say Jack Weeks. Really? Jack yeah, Weeks. I, don't, I don't know none of their music, but I mean, I respect what they do. Shout out to them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think Jack Weeks is more active with his. Really? Yeah. You like Jack Weeks? So yeah. you would say he's the king? Of our generation. Out of the two, I would say I would prefer him over YK Osiris. Honestly, I think it's kind of stupid to come out and say, like, I'm a king of the generation. Like, who are you to say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I feel like everybody's a king and queen. You're in your own lane. You're doing your own thing. I don't feel like, no, there's got to be one king. Like, there's a lot of great exactly. people. Exactly. I like that perspective. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next. Um... Motorola just released that they're putting out a new version of the Razor. What's the? It's what is that? A car? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Okay, so oh, it's a phone. The phone. Okay. The phone and the razor. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> the phone and the razor. You know, back in the day, you just flip it down. Oh, okay. And so they're bringing that. It was like a flip phone, but okay. it's like a new version of it. You can still flip it down. Hang up on somebody. Oh, the little flip. flip. I've never yeah. had a flip. Maybe I was too young. Yeah, I had, a, I had a flip way, 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 way back in the day. You're only but 22? Back in, back, back in the day. Okay. Like, look. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> I think I got my first one at seven. I think I was like, I was a little bit older. Maybe like, I know I was younger. Well, you older than me. It was like, how was I when I got my first phone? Like maybe nine. Nine? Sorry. Okay. I don't know. It was like around nine. But um, are you going to, are you team iPhone or would you try out the Razer? I'm going to stick with my iPhone. I mean, I'm not, I just had an iPhone for years, so. I had an iPhone for years. I feel like once you got an iPhone, it's kind of hard to adjust to anything else. Yeah, I mean, I'm not picky. I'm not about to switch my whole phone and carrier. I would have to. It's just a lot. Like, I'm just stick with iPhone. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm always stick with iPhone. So I feel like once you get an iPhone, then you get some AirPods, and then get an Apple Watch, yeah. uh, and then they have like so many different devices. You can just automatically connect or transfer. Mm -hmm. to them. like it's easier. Just That's cool. Though. I gotta check it out. I don't know. Yeah, it's about the cool. Motorola. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like it's a cool you know device. I wouldn't switch, but yeah. Um. So next, uh, Christmas tradition. Okay. Now, well, not Christmas traditions, holiday traditions. So, would you, which holiday do you prefer, Thanksgiving or Christmas? Since we're going to the holiday season now, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Christmas is right after that. 
See, when I was younger, it used to be Christmas because like I would like sing all the Christmas songs and like put up the trees and stuff. Like that used to be my favorite and like cookies and eggnog. Like I love all that stuff. So um, trying to think, it's hard because Thanksgiving food is cool too. But I'm not, I'm not really like a big eater anyway. So I think I like have to choose Christmas. Yeah, I feel like Thanksgiving and Christmas food are like the same. Right. Yeah, but when it comes, I love Christmas. Yeah, I just love the lights. Like, I love anything with lights. And I love, you know, the jolly. Yes, the whole Santa Claus. You know. Yeah, I think Christmas is mine, too. Yeah, same. Okay, well, that's all we have for our fab girl game. Okay. Now we got to get into this new EP you're dropping. Hey, I'm so excited. Come on. Yes. November 18th. Right. (laughs) So tell us about the um, EP. So colors, five songs, um, produced by Matt Colombo. Just so, just one of the most artsy projects I've done this far, and it's like I'm so proud of me and Mike Colombo because like literally this is our second project we're gonna be dropping this year. Like I dropped my first album, Dear Me, um, on March 14th. Now I'm about to drop Colors and. This has just been a very colorful year for me. When I say colors, I mean like your mood, your state of being, like I view music through colors, so that's just That's crazy yeah. that you say that. So what color are you today? I'm always purple. Really? Everybody knows it. I'm purple is my pretty. favorite color. Really? Red yeah. is my favorite color, but I'm feeling gray. I like red too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. And I, I like, like baby pink. <laughs> I love, pink is my nail color. Like that's really? well, I don't have it now. I gotta go back to the nail salon. Me too, bro. But, Mm. My hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> my hot pink. But pink, like a light pink, is always like oh, yeah, my go-to that. nail color. Yeah. But if you walk into my room, it's purple everything. Really? And I never really noticed it until one of my friends came in and was like, Joy, you got enough purple in here. Yeah, I love purple too. But like purple is royalty. Yeah. Ooh, mm-hmm. royalty. Royalty. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like that's my color. And it's crazy how you said um, related colors to moods. Because yeah, when you say like, it, it's like, this is what I get from Yeah, you, like, each song, really? Yes. Yeah, but each song is a mood to me and describes just a color that I feel. And yeah, that's what it is. So it just made sense to call the project Colors and I'm so ready, you know? Okay, so. So different. And I, oh, also, just like, I just want to, like, my Colombo really just brought out something different for me that I didn't know was in me with this project. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't have created these songs if it wasn't working with him so okay so what specifically did he bring out of you like what were you missing what was i missing like i mean he just brings out certain energies out of me that i didn't know was there like when you hear the songs and compare it to like my other songs just know i wouldn't have thought to do a certain song like that like just the way it sounds lyrically what it's about all that so okay so and where can everyone get the cover like what platforms? Platforms, all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Google Play, um, Amazon Music, um, iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, like all streaming platforms you can get it. And it's still available for a pre-save. Right now you got three more days, y'all. So three. get that. And you said November 18th. 18th. Yes, and then drops midnight on Sunday, um, which is November 17th. Yeah. No, actually it's going to be November 18th. So <laughs> right. yeah, midnight. Make sure y'all get that. So, where can everyone find you? Where can we follow you on Instagram, um, Twitter, Facebook, whatever? Instagram, everybody can follow me at Crave Tay with a C. Twitter, I am Taylor Jasmine. YouTube, Taylor Jasmine. All streaming platforms, Taylor Jasmine. And, yeah. Okay, well, that's all we have for it today. It's Fab Girl Friday. Hey. With my girl, Taylor Jasmine. With my and girl, all of her Joy. colors. Yes, all my colors. Like, and we still going to find out who. Um, in her DMs after we I'm gonna get out find out who she dated too, actually. Nobody. So, wait. I'm <laughs> not interested. Don't hit me up. That's just me. Hit up. Slide in them. She might not check them. You wasting your time. Let's try. <laughs> Well, that's all we have it for this week's Fab Girl Fridays. I'm your girl, Joy to the World. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Joy to the with two E's, world underscore. Thanks for tuning in and check, um, check us out next Friday. Bye. Peace. <laughs>